Good day there. Uh, this is the sea container where I do all my sawdust work. That's a good idea rather than keeping it in the machine shed. Uh, so I'm just going to talk today about hoses, ropes and power cables. When you coil them up, there's an easy way to do it that saves the twisting and tangling and the knots. If you're having trouble with that and you just want to coil your cables up and get them out of the way, here's an easy way to do it. There's a couple of things to remember with the cable. This end, if it's short, will tangle in the roll. So you must always leave a long length before you start coiling. Now that's the first thing. And uh, the second thing is to remember, um, if it's attached at one end of the cable, that's the end you always start from. So first of all, lay your cable out in a straight line. And as you wind it in, it'll get any twist out that you may have had last time. So I'm just going to do a nice big loop here, leaving the cable hanging down beyond the loop, first roll, and I do a half twist, and that's all there is to it, and I'll just go through a double length, uh, half a twist, and then here it comes, half a twist, half a twist, and I'm using a double coil, you can see down the end here, the end is down below the coil, half a twist, Coiling nice and neatly without any twists or rolls. And just roll it with the finger and thumb. And it's the same with a hose, it's the same with a rope uh, or a sheet if it's on a boat. Um, and then you go and half a twist and through. Half a twist and through. Now the last little bit also hanging down. I can hang that straight up on the wall and I won't get any tangles. I won't get any twists when I undo it. So I'll just hang that up there on my saw. <coughs> And, that, and that's ready to go for next time. Hope that was helpful to you. Maybe you knew it already. <laughs> okay, have a nice day.